Hello Bulldogs, Mr. Grange here to talk about the seven fundamental properties and their units to measure them. Okay? Um, first I'm going to talk about these properties and these are the most basic um, or the building blocks of all properties in science of anything that we can measure. These are the seven fundamental ones, the, the basic ones that we can use. We can actually put them together and make other properties, derived properties from these as well. Okay? These are all based off of the um, international system, the metric system, the science system, I'll go over the, of the American system as well. But when we're studying science, when we're learning about the universe around us, these are the fundamental properties that we're going to look at. Okay? And so let me define the property first. It is a characteristic or a trait that you can use to describe matter by observation, measurement, or both. Okay? These properties are the quantities that we're going to be measuring. It's the way that we describe the things that we're measuring, whether it's some, how long something is, um, how much it weighs, or what its mass is, um, how many particles there are, etc., etc. Okay. So, the seven basic properties are length, um, or distance, as I'll we'll refer to it in physics class, mass, time, uh, electric current, temperature, the amount of a substance, or how bright a substance, luminosity. Okay. For physics, um, for this class, we're going to really focus on mostly these three. Hopefully, we'll get to that. We will get to that fourth one later on in the year, but we're going to really start with these three. Okay. Now, the symbols for these are these letters. This is what we use when we talk about, when we use an equation, um, we're using these letters when we're trying to solve for something. Um, these are the letters, the symbols that we use to simplify them, to simplify them, okay? And so for length is lowercase l, or distance is d. Right? Mass is a lowercase m, time is lowercase t, electric current is capital I, uh, temperature is capital T. If you notice, it does matter if it's capital or lowercase. Science is case sensitive. Amount of substance is lowercase n, and luminosity is usually uh, capital L, or how bright the star is. Um, for the units, these are the SI units that are listed here, um, or the metric system units. These are the typical units that are used. I'll, I'll put some other ones on here as well. Okay? But what a unit is, is it's a magnitude, uh, magnitude of a, um, which means it's a number value, okay, um, of some of one of the properties that has been um, has been set. Uh, there's been a standard set, okay. So if you have a ruler, an inch is an inch, no matter where you are in the world. A centimeter is a centimeter. It's, it's a standard that's been set by scientists. Um, it's actually based off, length is actually, distance is actually based off of the speed of light. It's a fraction of the speed of light. So it's always the same distance. Um, there's actually a gram in the Museum of Science in Europe that it weighs exactly a gram that they used to pass around so that everyone had that standard. Okay. Um, there's some other standards ways of use this, but it's the standard that is used so that everyone can use the same measurements. Okay. Um, the units for micro distance is typically the meter. Okay. Um, sometimes if we're talking bigger distances, we'll, we might use the kilometer. You can use that prefix and as a kilometer, so it's a thousand meters. Um, in the United States, we use the feet or inches. Okay, which is uh, 2.54 inches is equal to a centimeter. Okay, so we can use those are 12 inches in a foot. Um, the metric system, we, the reason we use the metric system, of course, is because it's all uh, base 10. So it's easy to go from one to the other. It's not 12 inches in a foot, 5,678 point whatever in a mile, uh, feet in a mile. It's, it's all 10, base 10. So it's just moving the decimal. Okay. Um, Mass usually measures in gram or kilogram. Time can be in seconds, um, sometimes in miles per hour, hour sometimes used. Current is in amps. Uh, temperature is in Kelvin or degrees Celsius. Amount of substance is the mole, my favorite, one of my favorite units. 
6.022 times 10 to the 23 things. And luminosity is in a foot candle, a candela. How bright something is from a foot away. Okay. Um, so get used to using these, and I'll write these down so you can memorize them. Okay. Over on this side of the red line is property. On the left side is property. On the right side is the unit that goes with that property, what we use to measure it. Okay. Um, these are used when we're describing an equation, describing something. These are used after we measure it, we have to put a unit on. You have to, when you measure something, you have to show what unit you measured it. So if you put 12, you don't know if it's inches, centimeters, milliliters, you have to put a unit. Every time you write a number for this class, always write units afterwards. Get in the habit of that. No naked number. Alrighty? Just to give you an example of a derived property, um, these fundamental properties we can take and make other ones. Okay? If I wanted to know the area of this square here, this two-dimensional square, I'd measure the length times the width. And so the equation for that would be the um, would be area is equal to length times width. It's probably something you probably heard. But both of those are just distances, right? Distance times distance. Area is the distance squared, right? Square distance. Um, if we were to actually measure this out and say that this was 7 centimeters by 12 centimeters, right? When we multiply these, seven times, we multiply the numbers, 7 times 7, which would be 80, 84. We also have to square the units, so this would be centimeters squared. 84, 77. Yeah, 84 centimeters squared. If we were doing something um, that had three dimensions, like volume, the equation for volume is the length times the width times the height, right? Which are all just distance, so distance times distance times distance, right? Um, here's a box for an example for you. So when you're talking about a three-dimensional space, I lost my box. If this was three-dimensional box, we would have to, and so our unit, to, if we measured these, all these sides, these three sides in centimeters, would be centimeters cubed. And this brings up something which I kind of want to think about, right? Um, I say this this box was. Um, not this square, but the box was um, 6 by 2 by 5. Um, so these are all centimeters. 6 centimeters, so significant to get 6.0 centimeters by uh, 5.2 centimeters, right? Let's, let's stick with, so I can get this in my head. Stick with four numbers. Um, it was exactly 5 centimeters by two centimeters box, okay? When I multiply these all out, six times five would be 30, times two would be 60 centimeters cubed, okay? Um, let's say I wanted to convert this to inches. Okay, I wanted to convert this to inches. Um, and so I like to use my P chart here, the conversion chart. One thing to think about is that, and remember, don't forget, which I did, don't forget to cube your, your unit, right? Because if you wanted to convert this to inches, um, there are uh, 2.54 centimeters in one inch. This is cubed. I can't just divide this by 2.54 and get this. I have to cube this conversion, I have to cube this conversion so that this would actually be so that this is just one inches cubed. And so my centimeters cubed, the unit would cancel, right? Centimeters cubed, but I would have to cube this number. And so this would be, to calculate this out, be using my non scientific calculator, 60 divided by 2.54. 
2.54 three times. So if I say 2.54 divided by 2.54 divided by 2.54 will give me a uh, 3.6 cubic inches. Inches cubed would be the same as 60 centimeters cubed. Okay, so just something to think about. When you're converting something that has three dimensions, you have to use the conversion that has three dimensions. Um, I think it's enough for this video. Um, I'll get into some more conversions later, but thanks for tuning in and uh, keep physic keep doing physics, keep looking at the stars, keep learning about the universe. Mr. Grange, out.